This is the point and shoot analog camera that I have. The camera is already broken, but I still want to make use of it because I like the photos it produces. Here are some photos I took using this camera. How is it? Nice, right? Unfortunately, I won't want to shoot with this camera anymore. Not only because it's broken, but also because it's an analog camera that uses 35mm film. Perhaps you already know that 35mm film is expensive. Additionally, there are costs for developing and scanning the film. So, I don't want to use this camera anymore. Because I like the results, I'm interested in disassembling this camera to retrieve its lens. This idea came after watching some YouTube videos showing how they take lenses from disposable cameras to use on digital cameras. It turns out that the images produced by disposable camera lenses are good, even though the lenses are likely made of plastic. And I became interested in trying it. Of course, the camera I have is not disposable, and its lens might be better, possibly made of glass. I managed to disassemble the camera and get its lens. I tried attaching it to a pierced camera cap. It turns out the focal length of this lens is quite short, so it needs to be close to the sensor. I had to attach it behind the camera cap hole like this. And the focal length is very close. This way, I can take photos of objects very close to the camera. Unfortunately, I can't shoot from a distance. For that, I need to shorten the distance between the lens and its sensor. So, I need a mechanism to adjust the focus distance. Finally, I came up with the idea of using a plastic bottle cap because with this cap, I can turn it to shorten and lengthen the distance between the lens and the camera's sensor. Using hot glue, I attach the lens to the cut end of the bottle. Then I also attach the pierced bottle cap to the lens cap like this. I also need to paint it black to prevent light leakage. Now, let's give it a try. It turns out this method works for adjusting the focus. I can turn it like this to adjust the focus. Unfortunately, there is a problem. Since this is a DSLR camera, it has a mirror for the viewfinder. And because this lens is close to the sensor, it obstructs the mirror from moving up and down. So, we can't use the viewfinder with this lens. But it's okay because we can still take photos or record videos. Here are some photos I took around my house. This is my cute and funny cat. Taking pictures of a cat is quite challenging because it doesn't stay still. Moreover, because this is a manual lens, I had a bit of difficulty adjusting the focus. I rode around on a bike carrying this camera and lens to try it out. I wanted to visit a swimming pool in the middle of the forest. The place is far, so it's quite tiring. Here I rested and took some photos. If we look, it turns out the focus part of the photos is uneven. Some parts are focused, while others are blurry. Maybe this is because the lens position is not straight. But it's okay. Perhaps for this reason, the color on the edges of the photo is also different. I indeed need to install this lens correctly. Thanks to this bottle cap, I can adjust the focus. This feature is not present in the default lens of this camera. And with that, I can take photos up close like this. I like this photo. In my opinion, the flower is quite sharp. And I also like the blurred background. I don't know what aperture this lens has, but it says f3.5 on the default camera. I don't know if this is the aperture or not. If you know, please tell me in the comments. I like the photos produced by this lens. In my opinion, because the focus part is uneven, and the color on the edges is slightly different, it adds a different impression to these photos. In my opinion, it looks like photos taken with an old camera. Perhaps there is some truth to it because this lens is indeed an old lens. Unfortunately, when I arrived at the swimming pool, it turned out to be empty. There was no water. So, I couldn't swim here. Yet, this place is a fun place to swim. If you want to know what the atmosphere is like when swimming in this forest pool, watch my video when I swim here. Click the link above. I took some photos here, and I really like the colors produced by this lens. Although not very sharp, I like it. This place turns out to be quite high, so I could take photos of the countryside below from a height. I don't know the focal length of this lens, maybe 35 millimeters or 40 millimeters. The camera I used is the Canon EOS 700D. This is a camera with an APS-C sensor released in 2013. I like this camera because I'm used to using it. It feels very comfortable to hold. I've memorized the button layout and scroll wheel, so I'm used to this camera. 
Usually, I use the kit lens on this camera, but with this DIY lens, I can make the size of the camera smaller. So, I can put this camera in my jacket pocket. I can take this camera anywhere. I also tried this lens for taking selfies. It turns out the result is too close because the focal length of the lens is not wide enough for selfies. I took this photo by placing the camera, then using a timer to capture it. I had difficulty adjusting the focus, so many parts are blurry, but I still like the result. By the way, I edited these photos using Raw Therapy, an alternative photo editor to Adobe Lightroom. It's a free application that allows us to edit raw photos flexibly. Watch the tutorial video, the link is above. I also took the camera and lens for a stroll. I really like using this combination because it's light and easy to carry. The photos produced are also good. And after fixing the lens position, the results become sharper and more even. Although this is an old DSLR camera, I appreciate the outcomes from the Canon ES700D. I admire the colors and details captured by this camera. The camera also has the capability to capture raw photos, allowing for more flexible editing. This is a video taken using this lens. You can see that the details are very good, even the pores of my skin are visible. This lens is sharp enough for close-up shots. In this video, it's a bit blurry because I had difficulty adjusting the focus, considering this is a manual lens. I recorded this video using Magic Lantern. Magic Lantern is a custom firmware that enables recording raw video on older Canon cameras. In the future, I plan to create a video discussing Magic Lantern in more detail. In conclusion, repurposing an old, broken analog camera lens for DIY experimentation has been a fascinating and rewarding experience. Despite the initial challenges in disassembling the camera and adapting the lens for different purposes, the creative journey resulted in a unique and versatile photographic tool. From capturing close-ups with an adjustable focus mechanism to exploring the aesthetic of vintage-style photos, the lens proved its adaptability. The DIY project not only breathed new life into an otherwise unusable camera but also showcased the ingenuity of utilizing available resources for photography enthusiasts. Additionally, the exploration of photo editing tools like RAW Therapy added another layer of flexibility and creative expression to the process. In the end, the journey with this makeshift lens not only yielded interesting visuals but also underscored the joy of experimentation and the endless possibilities that arise from repurposing old photographic equipment.